Alright you guys, I'm here to bring you the first Marvel Animated Cinematic Universe review. And today we're going to do Planet Hawk. Now Planet Hawk basically tells the story of the Hawk being shipped out into outer space by the Avengers. Like, well, they're called something else. It basically consists of Iron Man, uh, Doctor Strange, Mr. Fantastic, and some other people. But they shipped them into outer space because he was too big of a threat to them on planet Earth. So they sent them off into outer space, and he escapes his um, his shackles on a ship and crashes the ship on a planet where he is captured by some type of alien race and thrown into inside of, inside of a cage where he meets a lot of other prisoners just like him. And the Hawk can talk in this movie, and he talks pretty good. Okay? And it's basically, every time, every day, they have a challenge, and they have to go out, and they have to fight. To the death, basically, until, until the challenge is done. And, uh, yeah. This was awesome. Okay? I loved Planet Hawk. It was great. I don't like the fact that his eyes were red. His eyes should be green. But maybe I'm just nitpicking a little bit. Um... Uh, this one earns his PG-13 too, because people do get smashed, killed, and sawed up in half. Oh my God, this was great, great, great stuff. And then uh, you have um, revenge, you have betrayal, you have romance, a little bit of romance. You have all that combined into this film. And the Hawk is great. Okay, the hawk, like he had, he's almost like the Great Hawk. He has his own personality in this film. He's just not just a monster that goes Bleh! that roars around everywhere. He actually has a personality, and it's great. You got, you, you have to love it. it it's just awesome. Um, the action is great. I loved it. The hawk is, just, the Hawk takes over. You know what I'm saying? He, he becomes the, the savior of that planet, and everybody starts cheering him. You know, and they don't want him to cheer. They don't want them to cheer the hawk, you know. So they try to find a way to kill him, and then, yeah. And the hawk bleeds green. Awesome. I never knew he could bleed green before. <laughs> That's pretty cool. So by the movie's end, the hawk is like, yeah, fuck Earth. Okay, Earth ain't nothing to me no more. And you also have like a little cameo appearance by Thor and I believe one of Thor's ancestors. But they don't come to the planet. They have something to do with some with another character that he meets story. Cause they do got a couple of stories by some of the characters that he meets. And yeah, it's just great fun. So in the end, Planet Hawk gets a B plus, another great Marvel cinematic animated movie. So check it out. Let me know what you guys think about Planet Hawk down below. Did y'all like it? Did y'all hate it? Have y'all read the book that it's based on? I have not yet. But, um, yeah. That's all I got for today. Catch y'all later.